Chief Judge Forrestar, please proceed. My name is, good day my relatives. My name is Stacey Forrestar. I am the Chief Judge of the Fort Peck Assiniboine and Sioux Tribes. Thank you, Chairman, Vice Chairman, and committee members for holding this hearing today. I am providing testimony on behalf of the reauthorization of VALA. Fort Peck has been uh, implemented VALA since March of 2015. Initially, we were one of five pilot tribes. Prior to 2013, we had consistently had reports of domestic violence of non-Indians on Indians being under prosecuted or not prosecuted at all. The crime is a domestic violence. It is a federal misdemeanor and the federal government did not have the time to prosecute those crimes because of the major crimes that had been occurring on Fort Peck Indian Reservation. So since we've implemented VAWA, we have had many successes. We've had had a couple challenges, but I wanna highlight some of those successes uh, through my testimony. We have had, I'm gonna give you a little bit of stats and data. We've had 45 VAWA cases under special jurisdiction since 2015 with a total of 37 defendants. Defendants have, uh, we have re-offenders and defendants with multiple charges. The criminal charges are partner family member assault and violations of permanent protection orders. The Fort Peck tribes have conducted two jury trials that consisted of Indian and non-Indian jurors, and we've had two acquittals from those two jury trials. We've had nine guilty pleas on the record, and defendants have actually opted into diversioning programs that have been offered through the restorative justice measures that the Fort Peck tribes have implemented. Although we cannot prosecute crimes against children when they are involved with the domestic situation between a non-Indian and an Indian, we do keep the stats on that as well. So of those 45 cases, we've had 21 cases that involved children that we were unable to prosecute, but we could offer services to those families. We've also had 19 cases that reported drug and or alcohol use that were involved with the primary offenses. We've had reports of law enforcement that have been engaged with the non-Indian defendant um, and unable to prosecute those crimes as well. Some of the specific successes that we've had at Fort Peck, they have been funded through grant programs through the federal government. We've had, we have a SASA, a special assistant U.S. attorney who is primarily here to prosecute the domestic violent crimes along with coordinating between the tribes and the U.S. attorney's office. We also have a public defender's office with an attorney on staff who is able to uh, be appointed as counsel, effective assistant of counsel for the defendant, not only for non-Indians, but for Indians as well. And that was a change that we made uh, along with our implementation. We also have grant programs that have funded uh, DV data collection, software programs for case management, we have an offender accountability program. We have civil legal lay advocate services for victims and their families. And we've had a overwhelming response to the jury polls. We have a jury poll system that has been put in place along with the county uh, representatives. And we've had great communication. We've had willingness of participation. So the jury trials do represent a fair cross section of our communities on the Fort Peck Indian Reservation. Uh, Fort Peck Tribal Court maintains a website um, in my testimony. Uh, it is fptc.org, and I would like you all to take the opportunity to look at that, to look at the tribal laws, to see what we have available open to the public at no cost. The tribal state relationships that we have built and maintain, along with VAWA, have, have only begun to uh, open up more opportunities for both jurisdictions, tribal and state. The Fort Peck tribes have had a successful cross-deputization law enforcement agreement in place since 1999. This agreement is with the County Sheriff's Department, the Montana Highway Patrol, and the City of Wolf Point, along with the Fort Peck tribal law enforcement officers. This agreement has allowed us to enforce each other's laws and to provide aid to one another. The agreement has also assisted with the smooth transition of special jurisdiction, the special jurisdiction on the Fort Peck Indian Reservation. Um, Montana has established the first Native American Domestic Violence Fatality Review Team. I would also ask that those of you uh, please take a look at that and see the statistics that are overwhelming in Montana alone. Uh, in closing, 
I understand that authorizing the tribe's special jurisdiction over non-Indian is only one portion of the VAWA reauthorization, but it is a vital instrument to public safety and to effectively addressing domestic violence in the Indian country. Now is the time to move forward collectively. Thank you. Namia. Thank you, Chief Judge. Without objection, we'll include the data sets uh, referenced in the record.